Hi, in this video, we're going to do a, an example, a discrete random variable example. This comes from the Society of Actuaries practice problems uh, on this material. And, and let's just get right into it. Let's, uh, in this example, the number of injury claims per month is modeled by a random variable cap n with p sub n equal to 1 divided by the product of n plus 1 times n plus 2 for non-negative integers n. So uh, let's, remember, let's remind ourselves that the p sub n value is the probability that the random variable capital N is equal to that specific n value. Okay, so now let's calculate the probability of at least one claim uh, during a particular month given that there have been at most four claims during that month. So when I highlight that in red, the, pro what, the event that we're, we're asked to find the probability of, notice that it's the probability that capital N, at least one claim, that would say that capital N is greater than or equal to one, given, this is a conditional probability then, given that uh, cap N is, there's at most four claims, that would be cap N is less than or equal to four. So it's just a, a conditional probability that I'm asked to calculate. Uh, so let's, let's remind ourselves these, this formula for uh, conditional probability. So I've, I've written it here at the, uh, towards the bottom here. When you ha have a conditional probability of A, cap A given cap B, uh, it, you, it's written as, we calculate that as a ratio in the numerator is the probability of cap A and cap B, and in the denominator is the probability of cap B. So I'm just going to apply this, this this fact from the first module on general probability, I'm going to apply this fact with cap A being, uh, let me color code things here, cap A being the event that cap N is greater than or equal to 1, and cap B being the event that cap N is less than or equal to 4. And so when I just directly apply the conditional probability probability, <laughs> the, the conditional probability uh, uh, formula there at the bottom of the page, then I get that the probability we seek is going to be a ratio in the numerator. I have the probability that cap n is greater than or equal to 1 and cap n is less than or equal to 4, which I could then rewrite in the numerator as just the probability that cap n is between 1 and 4 uh, inclusively, including 1 and including 4. And then the denominator is just the probability that cap n is less than or equal to 4. Okay, so let me take out some of the uh, uh, some of the extra stuff here and just uh, just get to the punchline here that what we seek then is this probability that cap n is between one and four inclusively, including one and including four, uh, divided by the probability that cap n is less than or equal to four. Now this is a discrete random variable, so if cap n is 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 between one and four, it's either a one, a two, a three, or a four. And so the numerator then is going to be the probability that cap n is a 1 or the prob probability cap n is 2 or the probability cap n is 3 or the probability cap n is 4. And likewise, the denominator would be exactly that, but we need to add in into the denominator the probability that cap n could have been a, a, a 0. And so using our, our notation for these probabilities, uh, I just get this ratio, P1 plus P2 plus P3 plus P4 in the numerator, divided by P0 plus P1 plus P2 plus P3 plus P4 in the denominator. Okay, and at this point, uh, th this is, this is uh, uh, th we've done the hard part. At this point, we just go back to our, uh, the directions, and I'm given what cap P sub N is for any specific value of N. So, for instance, when I, when I plug in an N equal 1, I get a 1 divided by, um, what's that, 2 times 3, which is 6. So, the first term in the numerator is just going to be a 1, 6. And likewise, the second term in the numerator, plug in a 2 for N uh, in what's highlighted in red to get the P sub 2 value, and I get a 1 divided by, what would I get in the denominator? 3 times 4, which is 12. So that's the second term in the, in the numerator is 1, 12. So I'll let you, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you uh, do the rest of the calculations. And then at this point, it's just a matter of doing some arithmetic, add up the uh, numerators and the denominators. Let's see, it looks like what I did in the next slide is I, I got common denominators of 60 in both numerator and denominator. So I ended up with a 20 over 60 in the numerator, 20 over 50, in, uh, I'm sorry, 50 over 60 in the denominator, 60s cancel off, and I'm left with two-fifths. So my answer here is, is two-fifths. Okay, so uh, that was, uh, uh, yeah, so uh, B is my answer. All right, so uh, uh, have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video.